Having trouble making changes to 2D drawings? SolidWorks has a quick and easy way uh, to fix that problem. Let's take a look at how we can convert 2D to 3D in SolidWorks. Starting with this DWG assembly, we're going to work on this bracket. We're going to convert this from 2D to 3D. So we're going to open this up in SolidWorks and using our DXF DWG import wizard, we're going to create a solid model from this part. Notice that we can control the units. We can add constraints and import the dimensions themselves. We can also control the layers that are available. So we're going to turn on and off the layers to decide which layers we need in order to convert this or to get this into SOLIDWORKS. Once the layers have been decided, we'll go through the process into the next window. And here we can even repair or merge overlapping uh, entities. We can also select which parts we want to put on which plane uh, and even assign the origin. Once clicking finish, it actually will open up that sketch into SOLIDWORKS and using the 2D to 3D toolbar, we can actually decide which one is going to be the front sketch, which will be the top sketch. And notice whenever we select top sketch, it will actually fold that sketch in the top view down in a 3D orientation. We can then align those sketches using a couple of entities and snap them together so that they're oriented properly for that to work. We then want to assign the right view. We're going to fold it around as well and align it even as well. Notice by selecting the points and then the aligned sketch, we get a nice representation of our 3D model now from that 2D sketch. We'll now take that first front plane and we'll start a extrusion there to create this model. We could go in and do some measurements and find out the distance, but SOLIDWORKS gives us a couple of options with our directions and we can do it as an up to vertex. We already have the thickness there in the top plane or the top view. Once that is decided and, and extruded, we now can cut away from the right view. So using an extruded cut, we want to select that view. We want to cut through all. And notice that currently we're actually cutting away the part that we're wanting to keep using that right view. So we want to flip side cut and make sure that we're cutting away the outside of that sketch, which is exactly what we did. We now want to take this part and we want to convert it to a sheet metal part. Everything that we've done so far has just been in a solid, so we're going to go to our sheet metal model. We're going to use to convert to sheet metal, select a fixed face that we want to start with and collect the bins. It's as simple as that. We're going to click OK and it creates that sheet metal part along with the sheet metal entry in our feature manager and the flatten view or the flatten part of the sheet metal program. As you can see, we can flatten this part as well now. The flatten in our tree is actually suppressed when we have it folded. So you really can't put anything in there in the flattened state else it would be suppressed. If you wanted it in there in the folded state, it has to be in there in the folded state. And this is where we use a thing, a tool called unfold. We can actually go in and unfold a part without actually flattening it. And with that, we can create a sketch now on the top face. We can select that rounded part of the, of the top sketch and convert those entities. Grab and drag the lines outside of our model. So we make sure we get a clean cut through all. We're going to do an extruded cut through all and make sure that the arrow is pointing to the outside. That's the part that we're wanting to cut away. So that flip side cut comes in handy again. So now we have the rounded nose on that lever. We can now go into our sheet metal tool again and fold it. So we'll have an unfold and a fold feature in our feature manager and simply select the bins. We can now close this. This part is now completed and we can flatten it and fold it back, use it in drawings and other things.
Converting DXF and DWGs are easy with SOLIDWORKS 2D to 3D conversion. 